in the last video I covered the grades tab and I specifically looked at the categories in the grades tab. This video is going to take a closer look at the grade display settings. So we're going to go ahead and click on grade display in the menu. And in here, this reviews the grade visibility. And this is based on the user role. So here we can see that these are the different options for what different roles can see in the course. Please note that TAs will never be able to see the grades tab because it's just blocked automatically for Denison and Noble. So that will always be disabled. In here, you can choose what your students would like to see. Please note that the top grade visibility over here refers to the overall grade. The overall grade is the calculated grade that the student has in the course based on the settings. Now, we receive a lot of questions about this overall grade setting, and what we have found is that sometimes faculty members at Denison like to turn off the student view for the beginning of the semester because it will be calculating based on every assignment they hand in, even when they only have like one they've submitted so far. The next part is the grade calculation section. So in this area, the very first question is points. Do you want to enable or disable points? When you have points enabled, you can weigh each item in the grade book. And that's really what points are on an item level, is it's a way to weigh each of those items. It does not mean you have to grade in points. It does not mean you have to give students like a nine out of 10. You can still give them A, B, C, D or percentages, but points are how items are weighed. So if you enable them, that means that in, for example, the category of participation, which we see back here is 10% of the grade, perhaps I want one of the participation grades to equal 100 points in that category, but I want another one to only equal 50 points. So I have two grades, one that weighs more. This is how I could set it up with my points. I would want to enable it. Disabling points means that each item entered in each category weighs the same as any other ones in that category. So looking at that participation, for example, if I disable points and I put two separate items into that participation category, they're going to weigh the same. And then when they go up to the overall grade, the two of them put together will be 10%. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to enable the points. And that is how I'm going to have the gradebook set up moving forward. But just keep in mind, you can disable points. And what that means is that every item in the gradebook just equals the same as every other item within its own category. All right. The next option is enable letter grade override. This one's a little bit more specific. It basically means if you give a student a letter grade of a B, which equals 85% based on your grade scale. We'll see this in a minute. But let's say you give them a B, it equals 85% on the grade scale, but you actually want them to have an 86. You can check this and enter the 86. It will just override the default value. I'm leaving it unchecked for now because I will have a chance to revisit this later in the demo. GPA and percentage, that's the type of grade scale that you want to have for your gradebook. Denison does have a standard GPA scale, but there is not a standard percentage scale. Either way, whichever one you choose, you will want to set up the grade scale, which will be the next video, and you'll also want to give a copy of that to your students so they know how you're grading them in the course. I'm picking GPA for now, just so I can flip to my other tab and show you where that standard GPA scale is located on the website. It's within the Denison catalog. And if you just go to denison.edu, you can do a search for the grade scale and it'll be there. Okay. For the purpose of this demo, I'm actually going to use a percentage scale since we found that that's what more Denison faculty members use. Grade rounding and decimal precision, these are related to how fine-tuned you want your grades to go. So grade rounding normally is anything that is a 0.5 or above will go to the above. Anything that is below a 0.5 will go lower. 
um, rounding up and down, if you round down, that shows you here, um, it's giving you examples based on what you choose. But if you round down, that means that even if they have that 0.7 at the end, it's still going to go lower rather than higher. Um, you can play with some examples of this, but typically we choose round normally. And then you can choose how far you want the decimal precision to go. So these are my grade settings. I'm going to start by disabling it for the students since we'll revisit that as well. But this is for grade display and when you're done, you can hit save. In the next video, we're going to set up the grade scale.